So Gulf Defence and Aerospace has given us quite a unique insight into some of Kuwait Army's vehicles. Uh, and this one that you see behind me is, is another one of them, that's the M84. It's actually a T72, a Russian T72 built in Yugoslavia uh, and exported to Kuwait uh, in the 1980s. Uh, it features a, a few different uh, technologies than the Russian-made uh, variant. Those include a new fire control system, uh, an operated engine, and, and a few other components as well. We're going to have a climb up on the turret now, like these guys, and we're going to have a look at what's, uh, what's up there. So now we've come up to the turret. Uh, main feature of this turret is clearly the 125 millimeter main gun. Uh, on top of that, there's a 12.7 millimeter a secondary machine gun as well. Uh, that belongs to the commander who sits there in the right. On the left is the gunner. He's also got an optic there in front of him just to help with uh, aiming the main gun. Now you've joined us actually in the tank itself, it's quite a tight fit, uh, but here I am in the, the gunner's seat and you can see here that there's uh, the optics and the fire control system for the main gun. Uh, beneath us actually is the auto loading system, quite unique for, for Russian and, and Soviet era uh, tanks. So there's 22 rounds in the loader system itself uh, and also 20 rounds stored uh, as well. So yeah, very interesting configuration, quite different from, from uh, Western tanks such as the Abrams. Okay, so we've come off the turret now, we've let these guys go up there, uh, and we've come to the side. Um, and this is some of the features that you'll find on a, on a T-72 and, and obviously the M-84 for, for Kuwait. Uh, these side skirts are, are fiberglass, they're not actually steel, so that helps with the mobility. Some of the Kuwaiti soldiers that we've been talking to say that they like the M-84 because it's more mobile than, than the M-1 Abrams, which is much heavier. Um, also, you'll see some storage bins as well where the crew can put tools and, and other equipment. And up here as well, there's a snorkel, also for deep wading uh, through streams and things like that, uh, they can use that. There's additional storage as well around the turret. Uh, that can also act as a, a sort of additional armor as well. So the Kuwaitis seem to like the vehicle, uh, and it might be that they buy more Russian equipment in the future, potentially T90s. We'll, we'll see what happens at the show.